Hello my beautiful Tauruses, my name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerzen.com here to bring your weekly forecast for January 15th to the 21st. Guys, don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. Remember, this is also for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. So you know how this works. We're going to do day-to-day, -day, okay? And then we're going to do overall for the whole week. And then we're going to get some advice from the romance angels. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. All right, what's going on my Taurus's romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st? What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st? What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, that feels good. Let's move on to your oracle now, Taurus. Let's go to my Taurus's romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st. This one didn't want to shuffle that time, so let's do this again. What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right. And then we're going to go with your love interest. Remember, the singles couples or anyone in between or anyone who needs love messages. So this is going to be the one that you're thinking about, the one you're here for. Okay, so what is going on my Taurus's love interest romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st? Taurus's love interest romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st. Okay, feels good. So I'm going to throw these cards down, then we're going to jump right in. Whoa, starting out with the sun. That's awesome. Okay. On the 15th, oh, there is definitely going to be a good renewal for you guys on the 15th, okay? Uh, it does look like something is going to be renewed, something's going to be healed here, and it does look like you are in the mode of things because look at that, you have the sun on the 15th. There's a lot of happiness, there's material abundance, there's things that are warm, and remember, the sun is the big luck card, okay? All right, so your love interest, the person you're dealing with, has the Ten of Cups. So they're feeling completely happy here with the Ten of Cups energy pertaining to your romantic love life. On the 16th, all right, so children could represent, you could be dealing with something pertaining to issues with children on that day. You could feel like someone's being childish on this day, okay? That could be the case because of the fact that on the 16th, there's something to do with arguments and disputes, right? There's also, uh, this also could represent competition in your romantic love life. And remember, five's the number of challenges, change, or freedom here, okay? Your love interest of the person you're dealing with has the two of cups energy. So they feel like they're dealing with their soulmate. They are making a choice with their heart here with the two of cups energy. Because remember, twos are all about choices. And we're talking about love here, emotions. So on the 17th, there needs to be some kind of forgiveness. Now, either someone's going to forgive you or you're going to forgive somebody else. And I see why, because on the 17th, you're having that defeated energy like, okay, should I stand up and fight or should I walk away? I feel defeated in this situation, right? Fives, again, are about challenges, change, or freedom. Your love interest on the 17th is doing a lot of thinking and contemplating here with the Four of Swords energy. They're trying to rest. They're trying to recover, right? That's all about the Four of Swords energy. It's rest. It's recovery. It's meditation. It's contemplation. On the 18th, some kind of issues around family could be affecting your romantic love life. Either you're going to talk to your love interest about family or there could be something to do with family that could be affecting your romantic love life in some way. It does look like, wow, okay, so you went through, you, you started out with the sun, and then there were some arguments, disputes, or competition, then you felt defeated. Now you're moving into calmer waters on the 18th, so it looks like you're coming out of whatever those challenges were, you're coming out of that on the 18th, and you're moving into calmer waters. Remember, sixes are about healing, recovery, and love, okay? So, and you can see in this card that the clouds are clearing out. It's definitely starting to be sunny outside there. All right, the ship is moving into calmer waters. And your love interest on this day has the Ace of Wands energy. So they feel like there's new passion, a renewed passion here with the Ace of Wands energy. On the 19th, something to do with work could be affecting your romantic love life on that day. 
It does look like you have the Justice card, which is Libra energy. So it looks like you're dealing with some kind of just choice or just decision. Remember, justice is, can be legal issue, could be divorce, marriage, okay? Or it could just be the fact that somebody needs to make a decision here about uh, a just truth or a just decision. And that's on the 19th. Your love interest of the person you're dealing with has the Page of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. They could be receiving a message of love or taking a new path in love. On the 20th, okay, that's interesting. And uh, and I say why it's interesting is because I see that you got the Hermit on this day. So on the 20th, Spirit is saying to look out for, um, you know, single, uh, singles, singles, yeah, <laughs> simples and messages from them. So basically that's what this, this, this card is about, is looking out for messages from Spirit on this day. So any kind of repeating patterns, numbers, or people that may be, you, you may be encountering different people throughout your day. And you may be getting like a common theme throughout this day. Pay attention to that. That's spirit. Okay, that's spirit giving you a message. And even pay attention to your dreams on this day because, and believe me, I know a lot of people tell me, they're like, well, I don't remember my dreams and so forth. Believe me, when spirit wants to give you a message, they will wake you up. <laughs> you will know when they, they send you a message in your dream, they'll wake you up out of it. Okay, so it does look like you have the Hermit card energy. And you're doing some deep, heavy soul searching on this day. You're isolating yourself. You're really trying to analyze your situation. You know, you're trying to get to the bottom of things with the Hermit energy. On the 20th, your love interest is possibly dealing with a boss energy. They could be dealing with authority figure. They could be dealing with an Aries. Or they're taking charge of their situation. They want structure. They want order because that's what the Emperor energy is about. On the 21st, whoa, okay, we got love here. Okay, on the 21st, we got love here. And I love the card that goes with this on the 21st. This card is a good card because it's saying that you have the higher ground to defend your position and that you can win this, right? That's the Seven of Wands energy. So, and you can see this person, you know, they slayed the other person. They're like, I'm, I'm on top here. Okay, so that, that means that you're on top here pertaining to your love and obviously Spirit is saying that there is love here. Your love interest of the person that you're dealing with here has the devil energy, which could be bondage, addiction, depression, procrastination, or a strong attachment there, or Capricorn energy. All right, so let's move on to your overall here, Taurus. Before I do that, though, I want to take a look at how many major arcana cards you have. Um, what is the common theme numerology here uh, for the week? Okay, so we see one, we see two, Three major arcana cards. So for seven days, three, the universe is in charge of three days. And it looks like you're in charge of the rest of the days. We have multiple fives here. We have two fives. So obviously, be careful about the 16th and the 17th. It looks like there's some kind of challenges or changes or something around freedom there. So the theme is challenge, change, and freedom. But it does look like you'll be doing some type of recovery. Uh, some kind of healing here on this week and sevens you'll be doing a lot of thinking contemplating and analyzing here so that's the common theme for this week so now let's go into the overall with the tarot Lenormand and the Lenormand uh, excuse me the right away tarot and with the smaller decks I apologize if it gets a little bit louder I apologize about that I'll try to keep it a little bit quiet for my earphone users okay so What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st? What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, it feels good. All right, so I apologize. Smaller decks are going to be going on now. So what's going on my Taurus's romantic love life January 15th to the 21st? Taurus's Romantic Love Life, January 15th to the 21st. Taurus's Romantic Love Life, January 15th to the 21st. Taurus's Romantic Love Life, January 15th to the 21st. Taurus's Romantic Love Life for January 15th to the 21st. Taurus's Romantic Love Life, January 15th to the 21st. Okay. So in the current position, what's going on? Looks like you're hanging out, celebrating, maybe with friends here with the Three of Cups energy. Maybe have more than one choice here for some of you. Yeah, there we go. The Garden card definitely shows a socializing card there. So currently, you could be looking at some different options. You could be going out. You could be socializing, okay? 
And uh, there is some kind of indecision or compromise you feel like is going on here in the current situation. So it does look like three, okay, more than one choice or option to make a choice. And obviously we have two two cards. So uh, in the current situation, it looks like you're trying to make some kind of decision there with the two cards. And it could be more than one choice. It does look like you're hanging out with friends, you're celebrating and you're socializing here, or you're looking at more than one option, which you're indecisive about, or you feel like you have to make a compromise around. Okay, so what's the blockage here? Okay, so maybe there are things here, maybe you're dealing with a Leo energy with the Sun card being there. Maybe you're not completely happy with everything, and you want some type of change or improvement in the situation, and you kinda wanna see what's going on out there, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, or it's something to do with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Okay, uh, one plus seven is eight. So the blockage is putting work or effort into this. So it's either you or the other person is not putting work or effort into this. Okay, so what is going on at the foundation here? So it does look like uh, this is obviously the Virgo energy with the Hermit card. So you are, are taking some time out to do some deep, heavy soul searching about what you want in your romantic love life because you feel like something is clouded or confused about it. And it's something to do with love and abundance here with the Empress card, okay? And also remember the Empress card, it is the mother of the Tarot. And the, the Emperor is the father of Tarot. So there could be a motherly energy involved for some of you. So what happened in uh, the past? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Obviously your energy, you were trying to make a wise choice when it came to uh, long-term commitments around a person. That's a person card. And uh, marriage, long-term commitment, traditional values, or there was something to do with that pertaining to this person, and or it was something spiritual pertaining to this person with the hermit, uh, excuse me, the hierophant card. And obviously, two plus nine, 10, 11, which is a choice here. We're trying to make some kind of choice here in the past. All right, in the, the, found, in the head of the matter, what's going on in the head of the matter? So this is the Pisces energy with the moon card. Um, you're confused or you feel like something is hidden or deceptive about you gaining some kind of knowledge here. So you obviously are dealing with some confusion. You feel like something is hidden in the situation and you're just trying to gain knowledge because you want to be happy with the sun card. Okay. You've gotten the sun card so many times today. <laughs> That's good. Um, I remember even when the sun card comes out on blockages and stuff, Anytime the sun card comes out, the sun card is big luck. So it, it's it's not, it's going to make things so much more easier, better, and so forth. So um, the chariot energy here. So this shows me in the near future, you're taking the rings of your situation. All right, you're taking charge of this because you want to be victorious. This is a very good card. It means you're in charge. You're taking charge of the situation. You are the other person you're dealing with. They're also, when I see the chariot, I feel travel. Okay. Um, and you're taking charge when it comes to this person that you're dealing with and you're using your intuition with uh, around the situation with the High Priestess card and 910. So you're trying to complete something around a choice. Okay, so what's going on subconsciously with you guys? Okay, so there's love and abundance. There's an Empress card again. Something to do with possibly a motherly energy or love and abundance, which you feel is something spiritual with the Cross card. Or you feel there's some burdens and challenge because you have to defend your position. So for some of you, you're feeling with love, you have to, uh, you feel burdened and challenged because you're feeling you're constantly having to defend your position. But you do feel like you have the higher ground to do this. And for some of you, you're actually dealing with a motherly energy that you feel like you're defending your position to around your love life. Okay, so let's see what the influence is. Temperance. So you're being patient or the person you're dealing with is being patient because they want an equal give and take or someone is not emotionally balanced here. And the reason why is because they don't feel appreciated, okay, because of the bouquet card being there. Or there is uh, something to do with uh, a surprise around a reconciliation with somebody from your past. Now, for some of you, let's just talk about this. For some of you, remember the Six of Cups energy is a secret admirer card, okay? So there could be a surprise, secret, or mire for some of you, okay? For some of you that aren't dealing with X energy. 
So, and for other ones, uh, there's, there's something that's not balanced here or you're being patient because some kind of surprise happened pertaining to a reconciliation with an ex, six of cups energy, that's the influence. Nines are about wish fulfillment, obtainment, sixes are about recovery, okay? Recovery or healing or love there with the six card. And uh, temperance is throwing things off balance in the situation because of this situation here. Okay, so, and or attraction around an X there. Attraction with that Six of Cups energy. Okay, so what's your hopes and fears? Five of Cups. So uh, I think that you're uh, fearing that there's gonna be some kind of regret, that you're gonna be crying over spilled milk, um, that there's gonna be a lot of stress and anxiety and worry around accomplishing this or completing this with the World Card energy. Okay, so What's gonna be the outcome for you guys? Ooh. You know, so far this week for, for the signs I'm reading for, it, it, the the uh, the week feels like it's a good week. So um, sometimes the energies of the week I feel like, mm. but this week I feel like is, is not a bad week. Um, all right, so Six of Swords energy. You are moving into calmer waters. You're getting out of all those challenges. It's definitely moving forward for you. You're seeing the light in the tunnel. And Four of Wands represents stability, marriage, or even talk about marriage, long-term commitment here, um, or something around marriage, long-term commitment there with the Four of Wands energy. And King of Cups, Cancer, Scor Scorpio, Pisces energy. And I love Kings because Kings means commitments, seriousness, you know, um, wise decision makings. Uh, and when you see the knights or you see the pages, you know, there's potential there, but it's still a little bit immature. But when you see kings, that's a good, good sign. So you have the king there. So it's a wise choice when it comes to love, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy around marriage, long-term commitment, stability there with the four of wands energy. And the birds in this card, birds are about communication. There's communication going on, talking. And um, Six of Swords tells me you guys are moving into calmer waters. You know, you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. There is... You're finally moving in that direction where um, things are, are, are going in a good direction here of healing and recovery and healing, recovery, and love. And it's around stability and stableness with that four energy. So that's pretty clear cut for me. Okay. And this also could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. So we're just going to jump right into the advice. So can I have some advice for my Tauruses or my love life? For January 15th to the 21st. Can I have some advice for my choices romantic love life for January 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so remember you don't have to take this advice if you don't want to. You have free will. Okay, so they're just saying let go of control issues and allow things to unfold naturally. Let's just pull one more. Because your life is being influenced by spiritual factors here. And I'll pull one more around something to do with separation. Okay, so I do want to clarify that separation card here. What's that about? What's the separation card about? What's the separation card about? What's the separation card about? I feel that I'm just going to tune into the energies. I feel that with this separation card, for me, it feels like it's saying for some of you, that even though you feel separated or you feel like um, there is a loss here of some sort, that spirit saying it's okay, just let go of control issues. Things are going to work out. And, you know, obviously in the outcome we see that. But I'm just going to clarify. Okay. So there's a decision about a just truth here with the justice card energy. And see, judgment is telling you there's going to be a healing. There's a reconciliation with the judgment card energy. Seven of Swords shows me around somebody who has been dishonest or sneaky or deceptive or somebody who needs to be honest with themselves around a soulmate connection, Two of Cups energy. Yep, and that's exactly what I feel too when I pick up on that energy. It's like, I feel that just, this is part of your spiritual path. This is, it's everything is gonna be okay this week and you're gonna move into calmer waters and there's gonna be healing and recovery around your situation, so. And your, your, your love life is being influenced by your spiritual um, path. So just allow things to unfold naturally. So no, no need to do anything here. 
All right, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. All right, guys, have a great week.